I'm Mary Jo West with Keller Williams Realty in the Birmingham, Alabama metro area. This is the second video in our new construction series, Build with Beth and Ed, a series designed to document the construction of their new home from start to finish to help you know if new construction is for you. Stay tuned. In the first video of our Build with Beth and Ed series, we introduced you to this lovely professional couple who are making a major life decision to upscale in size, neighborhood, and investment, and build their dream home in this master planned community of Liberty Park in the Birmingham suburb of Vestavia. This video includes the site visits that the superintendent did with the sellers and agents during the first three months of their build. So let's get started. <laughs> they are building in the exclusive neighborhood of Liberty Park, the old Overton Golf and Country Club. Their builder, Holland Homes, purchased some available land and created eight estate lots, averaging around a half acre each, and all with a backyard view of the golf course. The street for the front yard of all eight houses is a one-way in, one-way out street and is buffered its entire length by a thick private stand of trees. After choosing their lot and permits were received by the builder, the site visits were conducted. They included Beth and Ed, Ben, the very knowledgeable building superintendent, the listing agent for Holland Homes, and me as the buyer's agent for Beth and Ed. We were updated on some very important decisions. Come tag along with us for an up-close tour of this crucial step in the process. They saw the final placement of the house on the lot and also the staking of the house on the lot. That will help Beth and Ed get a general idea of their distance from the neighbors, their privacy, and the view off each room. Yeah, you see, I brought one in five foot four. That's actually the deck, the very front of your deck. And I laid out your whole deck. Oh, I see it. Yeah, cool. That way you can look out and see what you can see, plus, envision you're going to be 12 foot higher than where we're standing down there. So, so this wall placed right on your property line but a little more inside so that's your wall. That one over there we placed on the other. Yeah. Because our main goal is to get you plenty of space on the main level. Also they had wanted the house to have as much backyard as possible and the site visit confirmed that they had indeed repositioned the house to accommodate this is their this request. Would be yard. Um, that's yard. The patio? Wow, no, the patio is the patio's under the deck. Mm -hmm. This is yard. This is flat. This is, just this yard. is flat yard though. Wow. Oh, that's fantastic. Cool. We, yeah, that we spent a lot of time positioning this, the, staking all the corners and making sure we got it just right it's for, for that purpose. Awesome. And we got it as far forward as they would allow me. I could have brought it five more feet, but they elected to keep it at, at that. But we did bring it almost 15 feet forward. Wow. Which is good. That gives you some back yard space. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you really wanted, Beth. I remember you. Yeah, I'm happy uh -huh. with more backyard. And a sure. better, better view and all that. Yeah. <laughs> they poured that yes, water exactly. They discussed diversion and drainage of water and it's important to understand where any underground drain pipes are located because they will eventually be covered up and probably soon. The thing is we keep this drain down here. Now we and have I'm, drains on both sides of your lot. Who maintains those? Liberty Park. No. They're on me constantly daily about keeping the filter around it. They, they watch it very closely. Are we going to have, you think, a soggy backyard? Now this is soggy just because it's just sitting flat and there's areas that hold water. But once we final grade your lot, everything's going to run off. So okay. you won't have this. When we're done, you will have solid watershed. While not high on many buyers' radar, grading and compaction is one of the most important discussions of the site walk. 
Grading is what levels and slopes the lot to fit the design plan so that, number one, you build on a stable base. That's how high we can go. We went ahead and proof waterproof it higher than we will go. Mm -hmm. um, so it'll come back to this jet out right there and then it'll start falling. So this, you maybe this will be flat here. Maybe. Or, or I mean, yeah. that's pretty so flat. So the toe will be somewhere in here, so you'll have a small flat spot probably. Number two, you drain water away from the foundation and the lot. Everything's going to be graded to drain to that drain, so it doesn't necessarily go to that drain. And number three, you create a safe and pleasing access point in your paths and your landscape. It is also a valuable tool in helping buyers visualize the driveway, its ease of turns, its size, and the parking pad, and the concrete and green space surrounding all of that. Guy too. Well, you need more space people. Devastating foundation issues can arise if a builder rushes compaction or neglects compaction test. It was nice to hear this builder superintendent Ben emphasize his attention to compaction. Been slowed down a little bit on these compaction tests. Liberty Park uh, president promised me the compaction tests when they originally built these lots, and I'm finally giving up today. So I'm calling in our compaction test group to get it done because I will be on hold a couple days before I can get it done. They won't even come and do my inspection. All utilities are underground in Liberty Park, including sewer. But a new feature I had never seen before is an individual grinder pump. Now, a special note. In a custom-built home, this would be the time to discuss which trees could be retained and which trees have to go, sadly. Hopefully everyone is increasingly concerned about our environment and want more green space and more trees preserved. But in most tract and semi-custom builds, the builder typically has cleared the lots. That's so they can implement their systems faster and then they plant trees and landscape as one of the last parts of the build. As you can see, all trees were cleared from the tract of land that Holland bought from the Liberty Park developers. Finishing up the sidewalk, we gathered in Ben's office in the model home to see where the basement plumbing will be placed to assure that a basement bathroom can be added at some future point. This is often an important feature for a resale. We also had a discussion about the placement of the outdoor fireplace that Beth and Ed added as an upgrade. That was probably a smart decision since outdoor space, especially outdoor kitchens, are very popular right now. And we here in the Birmingham area enjoy weather that caters to many months of outdoor living during the year. I think we're probably three weeks out before going into framing, and uh -huh. they're probably going to spend three weeks framing this. So okay. At least six weeks. So three weeks, maybe, you know, 
may take a full month, depending sure. on the rain, weather. And all so, yeah. from what Ben tells us now, framing will start in three to four weeks, and framing will take another three to four weeks. So during that time, we'll show you what wonderful things Beth and Ed chose in their design appointment, and that will give you a good idea of how beautiful this home will be. We may even show you a few shots of the model home, which will bring some oohs and ahs and wows for sure. I would rate our site walk with Ben as a huge success. And now Ben gives us the schedule for the next couple of months. Looks like we're on target for an end of October final walkthrough. Hope you'll stay with us to build with Beth and Ed and also to learn the nuts and bolts of new construction. There's something special about brand new picked by you. I'm Mary Jo West with the West Team and Keller Williams in the Birmingham, Alabama metro area, and I'd love to help you walk the new construction walk. If you can dream it, I can find you someone here to build it. Give me a call anytime. We're full-time, full service, and thanks for watching.